Whole time, I don't big that. Fuck ten out. Why my first try to tweak with me? Fed that guy. Get Brooks exclusive. Uh, I'm one of them, not one of those. Ain't no sneakers on my flow. Versace house shoes in the morning. I remember bad pros. I don't know you ain't no Lincoln. I ain't into dropping lows. She don't put me on her story. I just love a private hoe. I'm one of them, not one of those. I'm one of them, not one of those. Crack the lights on King Crab. We ain't go to Papa those. All these niggas wacky, you ain't gotta drop a foe Gotta lock the door Four G's on my V, four G's in my sheets Money don't mean everything, you know more than me Whole time I'm giving 10 people $200 each just for subscribing to my Twitch Tap in, don't miss out on your blessing On God, on God so peep I remember this one morning I was knocked out I wake up Confused as hell as usual Waiting to download the data I need to start my day Stretching I remember I had a job interview that morning I look over to the nightstand to check and see what time it was My phone was missing in action Instant panic My throat dropped down to my chest I slowly turn and look over at my BM Still under Probably cried herself to sleep It was over Until I remember I had hid my phone in the pants pocket of my jeans. Talk about a sigh of relief. My oxygen supply slowly started to replenish after that. Before I can get up out the bed, I caught a glimpse of my BM bottom half. Poking, the reason I was a parent in the first place. I knew three things. Baby mama had to get up to go to work. I had to get up for an interview and I ain't had time to be worried about what time it was. I immediately got up under the sheets and pushed up close behind them. Right as I was preparing to shimmy out of my trousers, and 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 the alarm on her phone go off. Now, of course, she wake up, look at her phone, and start preparing to get up. Ah, all you gotta do is smack that snooze so I can show you these moves. Sitting up, she. I cannot afford to be late. They've been firing my fuckers left and right. I, PTO, fake him out. Excuse absence. She, I don't have no paid time off of pound town overtime to be with you. I, they don't got no 15 minute grace period or something that you could partake in. Trust me, I'm not finna be long at all. She, baby, I gotta go to work. And don't you got an interview today too? I, I ain't forget about the interview. I was just trying to get into you. Turn it towards me, she, baby, we really need this job. I'm making just enough to cover the rent. You know Amiya start school this year. We gotta make sure she's straight and everything else. Slumping down into bed, I, life is unfair. She, I know baby, but look, let me get up and get ready so I can get up out of here. As she crawled out of bed to get ready to start her morning, I just laid there with a deep sigh. Let's struggle. Right after my daughter walk in, grand rising daddy, sitting up. I, grand rising mama, how you feeling today? She, I'm okay. I, you went to sleep? She, mm-hmm. I, you woke up? She, mm-hmm. I, good job. She just giggled, she loved when I said it in the morning. Then she kisses. Right after I had a flashback to the night before. Role playing my BM, I'm so tired. I've been working all day. Wish I could sit in one of those open seats. Role playing I Feel free. I'm available. Come on, take a load off. She, but, but, those seats is for the white folk. Eyes colored. I, it's not about the color of your skin. It's about the availability of the resources in front of you. Now, come on, have a seat, child. She, I think I'm going to play it safe. And walk to the back of the bus and take me a seat. I, nah, don't be foolish. I know your feet hurting. I could tell by the way you step forward. How long you been standing on them? She, yeah, they are. I probably been standing on them for about 10 hours today. I, and I could tell by the way you're hunched over. You could use some immediate relief to your spine. She, 
Yeah, I do got a crook in my back that is paining me. I right, come on, sit down. I promise you won't regret it. She, I was nervous. I ain't never sat on the front of the bus before, but I ain't gonna lie. You do look real comfortable. Said I look comfortable. Come and see how I feel. She, you sure? You sure you can handle the weight of my high quarters? Role playing, I assume the position of a eager seat. She, I now, here I come. And proceeded to walk towards her quote unquote seat. Then slowly sank down on my face. Snapping back, I, actually, daddy need to wash his whole face first, okay? She, okay, daddy. Ah, right, you ready for breakfast? She, yeah, ah, right, let's go eat breakfast. She, okay, and turned to walk toward the kitchen. Close call, I had to do better. About 30 minutes later, my BM make us something to eat. Ah, right, you eating your food, mama? My little one, mm-hmm. While my BM moving around the kitchen, her booty, the, check it out. I, I'm sure your job got at least a five minute grace period. BM, boy, would you knock it off? You know I gotta get up out of here. I gotta drop a Mia off at Granny's house. She gonna be there for a few weeks. Ah, true. You going to Granny's house, mama? She, mm-hmm. BM, well, good luck on your interview today, babe. Amia, you getting a new job, daddy? Ah, uh, yes. Daddy gotta make sure you got new shoes and clothes for school. She, yay, I love new shoes. With a deep sigh, I, I know, baby, because these motherfuckers that had it. Knew she could dog some shoes. I'm talking that. You know, I'll walk a thousand miles if I could just say yo tonight. Bien, would y'all stop playing so much? Come on, we gotta get up out of here. And she picked up Amaya. Good luck on your interview today, baby, okay? I love you. I, I love you too. And then they left out. Now it's time for me to get ready for like my 20th interview. I threw on this little Easter suit I had from the year before. Got up out the crib. I'm on the bus heading downtown. It was these dudes bop on the bus. I remember one of them had on a bucket hat. It was about four of them. They slide to the back of the bus, take a seat by me. They ain't appear to be no threat, so I'm chilling. Bucket hat, what's good with you, young blood? You on your way to work? Ah, hell no. Nah. Trying to find work. I'm on my way to a little interview. He, oh man, congratulations. For what job? Ah, a little telemarketing situation. He, you already got that job. You know that, right? Ah, shit, I hope so. His homie in the blue hat, and they got some decent ass hoes in there too. You don't even know it. Amen, nah, real nigga prophecies. His other homie gotta speak shit to existence, you hear me? Ah, right, Fendi Fat, another one. Hey, but figure deal me, man. Me and my homies done rap. Can we spit something for you real quick? Ah, right, shit, that's cool. Homie with the lock say, real nigga. Pete, I say, if you blink, I'm a blank. Never did it for rain. Just put M's in the bank. Them niggas that hate, ain't no riding in forums. Pull up in a tank. Blue hat, but don't feel like you safe. Keep a Drake in the wraith. Locks, buddy. Why your gun in the safe like you running in place? One of the niggas that's with me put one in your face on gang. Blue hat on gang. I'm just nodding my head like, all right. Buddy, hey, so what you think about that, little homie? Ah, right, shit, it was decent whole time. Blue hat, nah, for real though, what you think? Don't be lying. Because motherfuckers like, get on your ass for real. I'm looking at him like, what's to you? He, nah, I'm just fucking with you. Appreciate you though. I'm still blue. He, what you looking like that for? What, you want to do something? Bucket hat. Man, chill, chill, boy. Yo, be tweaking, boy. Man, man, you cool, though. We got some merch for you. Pull out a bag. He passed me a hoodie and a hat. I appreciate you. After taking the items out, bless. He, this our star right here, though, man. Congratulations on a new job, man. We out, man. Good luck. And they bell off the bus. I just continued to make my way downtown. Now I'm lost as hell down there looking for the address. All my life I needed GPS to find my way whenever I was down there. I'm walking around fake aimlessly. Some do a yo. Turning around, ah, what's good? He, ain't that that Apple Watch Ultra? Ah, yeah. He, damn, that motherfucker raw as hell. That bitch costs like a G, don't it? On some other I type sh with the Birdman hand rub, P. Where you get that motherfucker from, though? On Folly, I, yeah, all right, I try to pimp off. 
His homie, don't do it, I blow right through this book bag. He smacked the hoodie and the hat out my hand, and they proceeded to shake me down in broad daylight. Took my watch and my suit jacket. I'm standing there looking dumb as hell. His homie, real life, put my suit jacket on, then helped him put my watch on. But he had E.T. and he, this my shit, po ass neck. Took off chasing me. I got little, especially considering I knew fool had pipe in his book bag. Goofy as hell. All I was trying to do was go interview for a job. Surprisingly enough, I still made it on time. I'm in the waiting area next to some dude. He, what's the word, my boy? I was good with you. He, shit, cool. And see you up here to get the job too. Pursuit of Happiness 3000. Look like motherfucker put his Zamboni on them bitch. Tweaking with me. Ah, hell yeah, motherfuckers need it. What position you up here for? He shit, to be honest, bro, whatever they give me, I'm just tired of my OG waking up with Dino's in my mouth every morning telling me to get a job. Threw me clean off. He shit, I'm just fucking with you. I'm trying to see what it is to this cleaning job, man. I looked on Indeed, they talking about paying $22.75. I need parts on all that. Ah, $22.75? I ain't see that position. All I saw was a little telemarketing job. Them up only paying $15. He, you said 15? No, sir, that shit is inadequate. I got four kids, five baby mamas. I need some more money than that. Ah, right, true. I gotta take whatever I can get right now for real. My baby finna start school for the first time, so shit, I gotta run it up. He, hunted emoji. I need to surround myself around it's like you, cause uh, my homies, bro, what you call a uh, real Hobokins. Ah, right. why you say that? What they be on? He, all right, man, let me tell you about one of them. So, Boomski. My homie in my line, he tell me he need me to help him move. I'm like, bro, I just got done doing DoorDash, made me a cool $70, I ain't tripping, we can go out there. So he live in Indiana, I slide all the way out there listening to Adele, don't judge my music, you feel me, niggas get soft sometimes. Funny as hell, he, so I pull up in the lot, I see two U-Haul trucks outside bro crib. I'm thinking in my head like, bro only got about three air beds and a microwave in that, but why you got two U-Haul trucks? But when I'm coming in, I'm starting to notice that somebody moving in at the same time he moving out. I'm like, all right, cool. At this point, it's like a whole factory four setup. I'm bringing boxes in, they bringing boxes out. You know what I'm saying? We mind our business. But then, bro had three pairs of shoes, some Jordans wrapped up in plastic on top of his truck. We come back outside, the shoes gone. The other U-Haul truck gone. Process of elimination when you do the configurations. You start to think that the mup who had the other U-Haul truck got the shoes. So I'm telling bro, I'm like, the only thing that I can think is, is we gotta go catch them. It's a U-Haul truck. How far away you think they got? If we chase them down, I hop on the back of the truck. You just trail me on the back of the truck to wherever they in. When they pop that go open, we'll see if they got the shoes. What? So we finally get in the car. He get to acting all scared and shit, talking about some you doing too much. But I'm telling him like, bro, if you just pull up to the red light, I'ma hop on the back of the truck. It's only two ways this gonna go. It's either the police gonna see me riding on the back of this truck, they gonna stop us. Or they gonna see me on the back of their truck, they gonna stop it. Either way, we know. It's gonna stop and we gonna find out if they got your shoes. So he finally get the bigger picture and pull off. We driving for about three minutes before we actually catch the U-Haul truck. We get to the red light. I hop out the car, hop on the back of the truck like I told him I was going to do. I'm on the back of the truck dangling for about two minutes. He get a call from his baby mama talking about so she took the shoes from outside, put them in the crib. So he thinking he a Navy federal sergeant. He hitting about face in the car, turn around, leave me on the back of the truck like Chris Tucker, rush out with two type vibes. You feel me? Now I'm looking like, what the am I supposed to do? Bro, you don't believe me? Watch this real quick. I never. The man pulled his phone out, had real life footage of him hanging off the back of a U-Haul truck in traffic. Had to see it to believe it. He, but nah, bro, the real shit. That's why I say I got to meet niggas like you, bro. I ain't with that nigga since, bro. Real barbarian activities. It's straight outlandish. I can't get with it. Ah, right, that's funny as hell. Right after that, Bartholomew Smith, right this way, please. The interview lady was ready to get started. He don't trip over them shoes, bro. Funny as hell, I dapped them up, pimped off. I get into the office with the interview lady and go and take a seat. Fake nervous, I ain't gonna lie. She, good afternoon, Mr. Smith, how you doing? I shit, decent whole time. Is it too late to interview for the janitor position? I heard y'all got one open. The fuh, she. I'm sorry, I can only interview you for the telemarketing position you apply for? We have different recruiters for different jobs, so you can apply, but it would have to be with somebody else. I, I understand. Blessings. She. All right, now I'm going to ask you a few questions. Just answer to the best of your ability. So on your resume, it says that you have customer service experience. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I offer show. Shit, I used to work at the Walmart Super Center. I was a crew member, like one of the real members. Folks know great. I used to assist customers with finding items that they was unaware where to find them at. So I was definitely like servicing customers in that fashion. She, that's, that's customer service for sure. 
Tell me a time when you had to overcome a difficult customer that you worked with. Uh, so Pete, this one time I was dealing with an over irate customer. They was over T because the items that they had purchased, they were supposed to ring up on sale, but they didn't. It was like two packs of glizzies for a dollar or something like that, but they was ringing up two thirty nine each. So I'm talking about they sending it up. Who up the bam? I'm I'm talking to them. I calm them down. Cause see, those was like Oscar Maya brand. So I went and directed them to an off brand that was cheaper, like, and they was able to get what they was trying to get within a budget that they was looking for. Cause they was definitely about to tweak in there, but I de-escalated the situation and everybody was cool. She, okay. So you de-escalated the situation. You helped them find another, you know, item that was within their budget. I can definitely appreciate that. And I'm sure they did too. Um, tell me about your last position. If I were to call your manager right now, what would they say about your character? What are three strengths, three weaknesses? I, I know one weakness he gonna tell you about. It's the one I got for black women in positions of power. She just gave my little ass the awkward silence. I, nah, nah, I'm just gonna with you, but as far as how my last manager will probably feel about me, those sentiments would be a little tainted for real because at some point he found out I was whooping his BM. She, I'm sorry, whooped out. Oh no, that mean I have participated in intimacy or intercourse. She, oh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, for sure. So I whooped this BM. He found out and sent it up with me during the shift. I'm talking about made a whole spectacle of the situation. Real nigga activity, I'm not a homewrecker. She said they won together. So I. You feel me? Woo, woo, but I ain't gonna lie to you. If you ask any of my coworkers, like, I was cool as hell. We used to pop out on our off days. Motherfuckers used to go hit the bars and everything, wipe the bam. So I, I'm cool. It's just that I know if you ask him how he feel, it's gonna be a little slated. She, okay, well, we're gonna be reviewing applications within the next seven to 10 business days. Um, If you don't hear from us, you don't have to follow up. We, we will be calling back, whether it's a yes or a no. We do have um, a nice pool. I'll say we'll say maybe 120. So um, don't wait by the phone, but thank you so much. She extended her hand for a handshake. I, if they don't call me about the job, you think you could? While kissing her hand, she snatch away. She, I don't think you want to start off with a sexual harassment charge. It's 2023, just probably just be smooth. But thank you so much. I, oh no, for sure. That's some good advice. Well, uh, I look forward to hearing, hearing from y'all. Blessings. I ain't know how to feel about that interview for real, for real. She was probably feeling me a little bit. Well, I'm delusional, ain't no telling. Shortly after I sat down on the train, I got an email notification. It was the job. I read the email. We regret to inform you that we decided to da 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 I about know them type of emails by heart at this point. Right after that, a toddler came wandering on the train by itself took a seat right across from me looking lost ah hey hey where your parents at he just looked me up and down he wasn't even capable of giving me an answer for real i look around i ain't see nobody that even remotely looked associated with him ah motherfuckers gotta find your legal guardian i couldn't believe that kid was on the train all by they lonely it's too fucking crazy out here for that the kid got the huffing and puffing like he was finna start crying ah not not don't cry I got games on my phone, huh? And handed him my phone. That calmed him down quick. Kids come out the womb knowing how to work iPhones or iPads nowadays. A dude roll up in a wheelchair asking the kid, hey bro, you got a lighter? Ah, hey bro, that's a whole kid. He kid, boy, that's a middle-aged baby. His ass got a whole phone, that's a grown infant. You tweak it, shorty, look at his ass. I right, whole time I gave that to him so he could stop crying. I, I think he lost his parents or something. But the whole time his ass is a parent. Apparently his ass is a grown pug. On my life, boy, little baby squid looking at him. Motherfucker look like squid Billy Sea Animal looking at him. Shorty, your ass look like a garden on with clothes. Ugly. Motherfucker look like a hip hop garden on looking at him. Gang banging gargoyle. GD gargoyle. On my life, your little ass look like a chess piece that came to life. Active chess piece looking at him. Little boy, your ass look like a men in black alien on my life. Look like your name, Daniel Tan, your fan, your ugly ass boy, meatball head. That. You got on a pamper? Hell no. Nah. On my life, his little ass was born with credit and debt. Dumb ass. 
The little boy get the meow, 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 meow. I, bro, meow, what, bro, I told you that's meow, a whole Tyler. Bro, you just made meow, him cry. Meow, Yo ass tweaking. Meow, meow, Buddy, what? Why is ass meow, crying meow, like that, boy? Meow, a man hop on the train. Dad ass. Dad ass, man. Meow, what meow, I tell you about wandering off, man? Meow, meow. Come on, man. Meow, meow. Why is you crying? Meow, meow. Who made you cry? Meow, In between meow, tears, meow, meow. he instantly meow, meow. point out meow, Buddy meow. in the wheelchair. Meow, Pops, boy, that's my fucking son, boy. You gonna make me put that bitch in pop, flip your stuff out of there, and drag you back to Lake Street. Quit playing with my C, boy. Stop crying, that ass. With your funny leg ass, man. Big wheel ass, hot wheel ass, crazy toe ass, man. Stop playing with my C, man. Hey, boy, that's your, that's your son, son. That's, that's your son, uncle. That's your son, uncle. uncle. Your ass an unfit parent. You, you breastfed him, didn't you? You, you bogus as hell. You need to put a leash on his ass. His ass all gonna bit me on my life, boy. Your ass rabbit. He out here rabbit his head on my life. Your little ass got a. Your little ass got stitched. That stitch off Lilo and stitch out here. Six two six. Bogus as hell, bro. I whoa, hold on before y'all get crazy. Let me just get my phone from your son. I don't want no smoke. I gave it to him a few minutes ago because he was finna cry. Right after the little boy. Slowly handed my phone back to me. Once I got it back, I immediately got off at the next stop. My folks don't play about that, kids. That man was about to flip Buddy wheelchair upside down, and I wasn't trying to be around for it. After being in the midst of that, getting denied for a job, and being took all in one morning, I had to go see my granny. Y'all know it's just something about being around granny that just put a band aid on things. Stop playing for show. The real MVP. Me and Granny sit at the kitchen table. She, I'm so glad you came to visit me. I was just thinking about you. I, I had to. How you feeling today? She, I done went out to that boat. Gave him all my money. Now I'm up shit's creek. Funny as hell. She, excuse my language, baby. I, oh man, I hate to hear it, Granny. She, you know the Lord, baby. He gives. And then he takes it. Blessed be his name. Are you hungry? Shaking my head out, nah. I ain't even got no appetite, Granny. Concern, she. What's wrong, baby? I just ain't my day. Besides, I got poked this morning. Confused, she. Somebody poked you? What do you mean by poke? Ah, somebody repossessed my possessions, Granny. She, yeah, you was talking about somebody poked you. You mean they robbed you or stuck you up? Ah, nah, I feel it, Granny. And then I had an interview today, but I didn't get the job. She, well, why didn't you get the job? Because you got poked? I, I don't know, Granny, but I know I need a job real bad. You know, my little one's starting school for the first time this year, and I need to get this money so I can be able to get all her school stuff. She, well, you wouldn't have a little one if you'd have zipped it up like I told you. I, yeah, I know, Granny, but I got to step up to the plate and take care of my responsibilities now. She, you right. Have you asked God to help you find a job? I, nah, I haven't, Granny. She, well, as she grabbed my hand, we're gonna pray. Put your head down. Drop your head. Lord, please continue to help my son, my grandson. He's like a son. So help my grandson to be able to find a job so he could take care of his kid. Amen. Lifting my head up, I thank you so much, Granny. She, you're welcome. But I gotta get out of here and go get me some bananas. I'm finna go over to Aldi's, okay? Ah, okay, Granny. I'm finna get up out of here. Then I got up to leave the table, feeling way better than I did before I came. That's for sure. As I was about to leave out, my Granny tapped my shoulder. I turned around. She put some in my hand. Every time, a few dollars to help me get by. I, thank you so much, Granny. Hugging her. I, I love you. She, I love you too, baby. And then I left out. Hands down. Granny was definitely the real MVP. You all don't need to put your prayers in the comments. My son, grandson needs them so much. For the next few weeks, I was on business. Pimping up to the library. Looking for job after job after job. I'm talking about I'm in there. Monday, you hear me? Tuesday, wet, next day, fucked it up. Day after day, it was stressful as hell. This one time after doing app after app after app, 
I leave the library. I'm walking, I see a congregation of ne'er-do-wells across the street. I instantly activate my DBZ scouter. The results generated power levels are over 19,000. Detour, fuck them out. They must have peeped my attempt to bypass. They start pimping towards my direction on dummy. Now I see what they on, but I'm just, you know what I'm saying, walking, trying to play it cool. They, hey, shorty, you with that shit? Ah, man, I just came from the library. I ain't even on that, bro. Buddy, I ain't asked you that. I asked you with that shit. I already know what it was. If it wasn't one thing, it was another. Buddy, homie, folks ass talking about he coming from the library. Boy, your ass better book it. Say less, I instantly try to dip towards the alley. Fool tried to cut me off. I er, shake his ass. Boy, I'm down the block getting that. Shakai Richardson in the hundred meter, yeah me? In Ross voice, I've been corner. They been corner. Now ya see me? See me? Now ya, now ya don't. Left they ass oblivious. They looking around, they can't find me. They bob down the block to see if they could locate whole time. I come from up under car. Mechanic activity thought they had them one. I sprint in the opposite direction. Another day in Chicago. One night, I ain't even go to sleep. I was just up until the sun rose, looking for jobs and combing through my email. BM had got up early on her off day to go do Uber. Some had to give. Now, I just happened to be going through my junk mail. Tell me why I found an interview request. I had never saw it. And it was for the same day in a couple hours, matter of fact. I instantly FaceTime BM. She answers. She, hey, baby daddy, you called me just in time. I'm in between riders. What's going on? I, baby mama, I got a job interview today. She, you ain't tell me. Well, congratulations. The fuck? I, I ain't even know. I just saw it in my spam folder. She, oh, that's a blessing. You better hurry up. You ain't got much time to get ready. Good luck. I, man, blessings. I'm gonna hit you as soon as it's over and let you know how it went. She, okay, baby, I got another rider coming through. I'm going to talk to you later. She hang up, and I needed that. I hop up to get ready. Struggle. I end up missing the bus. I ain't had no time to wait for another one, so I'm cutting through back blocks, foot patrol activity, all the way to the red line. About got musty, you hear me? I ended up making it, though, out of breath and tangy. The interview dude, 40 minutes late, are we? I was nervous as hell. I don't remember what I told him. I know I said something about a rough commute and crazy traffic conditions. He, all right. So let's go ahead and get this interview started. I'm going to ask you a few questions. You can answer them to the best of your ability. All right, first question. If you find yourself struggling with a deadline, how would you handle that challenge? Ah, right, shit, I'm going to put that overtime in to get it done. It's a win-win situation. Y'all gonna get what y'all want and shit. I'm gonna get some extra ducks. He, well, we don't typically approve overtime that often, but okay. Second question. What would you do if you saw a fellow employee participating in unethical activity, unethical behavior? Like um, if, if he ain't wear ethical draws or something, he, no unethical meaning activity that goes against company policy i are oh, on phone now shit well i ain't gonna snitch on them because i don't even play them type of games but i'ma still put a bug in this air like bro you tweaking woo woo we gotta do it this way like you feel me? so you know i ain't gonna let them like you feel me? with a deep sigh he okay third question what would you do if you felt like you were getting burnt out at work? Ah, if I get burnt, what? I'm a bug up on shorty ass, but I'm gonna do it off the clock though. It's gonna be a misunderstanding for sure. He, no, no, no. Burnt out, meaning overly exhausted. Ah, oh shit, I'm gonna take some five hour energy drinks and push through. And 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 I be and I be wearing condoms. By the way, I ain't, I don't be getting burnt. Some trick questions be a mom. I could tell he was about sick of me for real, for real. He, okay. This show last question. Are you a team player? I, oh no, for sure. If my homie trying to see what's to a little woo-wop and her buddy fake bogus, I take one for the team. 
real nigga activity. He, okay, Mr. Smith, um, I'm not sure you'll be a good fit for this com- whole time, bro. But before you even finish, I just want to tell you, like, I really, really, really need this job, bro. I got a little one. I'm trying to make sure she got everything she need for school. I Look, I'm a real high worker. I'm going to be one of the first ones in here and one of the first ones out. I know I probably ain't do the best with the questions you was asking me, but at the end of the day, I got a good high and I got the will and the energy to help contribute to everything around here running away as supposed to. So I'm begging you like to at least consider bringing me on. I won't let you down. Fanagray, taking a deep breath and shaking his head, clearly going back and forth between judgments. He, can you start tomorrow? Ah, merch it. He, merch it? Ah, oh, oh no, never mind, but man, bro, thank you. I'm, boy, I was at the brink of tears. Do you hear me? Ah, I'm overly grateful for sure. I'll be in here. What what time? First thing in the morning, whatever. I I was choked up. I couldn't even get my words out. I, thank you so much, bro. He, I'll see you at 8 a.m. Don't let me down, Bartholomew. I, oh, no, for sure. Blessings. I'll be here. Whole time. I, I got a question. You you know how much the first check usually be? Fake blue, bro, with that question. I, nah, nah, I'm just playing, bro. But nah, thank you, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. For sure, blessings. And got up out of there. I'm talking about I was happy as hell. He was a real one. And it was an easy customer service job too. And one of the blessings, it paid every week. But the biggest blessing of it all was the fact that I got the first check the Friday before the Monday when my baby started school. And I was able to get her situated. School supplies, uniform, new shoes, got a head did and all that. Being a proud parent hit different. Do your homework on doing what you're supposed to do as a good parent. Moral of the story, God may not come when you want him to, but he always come on time. On God. And whole time, this episode was definitely based on a true story. Matter of fact, This is the Instagram post that I originally posted September 3rd, 2013, when Brazil Marie started her first day of school. Stay encouraged. Blessings. Uh, I'm one of them, not one of those. Ain't no sneakers on my flow. Versace house shoes in the morning, I remember bad pros. I don't know, you ain't no Lincoln. I ain't into dropping lows. She don't put me on her story, I just love a private hoe. I'm one of them, not one of those. I'm one of them, not one of those. Crack the lights on King Crab, we ain't go to Papa Dose. All these niggas wacky, you ain't gotta drop a foe. Gotta lock the door.